you now regularly refer to Donald Trump as a sociopath, a narcissistic sociopath. Yes. You are supporting Joe Biden. I mean, you've studied um, all of the DSM terms. Yeah. And you, you, know, you wrote a very long, thorough piece in The Atlantic um, a few years ago sort of breaking down your um, justification for using these terms despite the fact that you're not a trained professional. Right, right. He is a narcissistic sociopath. And he's everything... It, so what does that not, mean? No, Explain what... what, what is a, narcissist, a narcissist is somebody who basically cares about no one but himself or herself. And there are degrees of narcissism. And we all can be narcissistic to some extent. We kind of, you know, we might blow our own horn. It's, it's done. But this is a man who cares about absolutely nothing no empathy, but himself. No right. empathy, no remorse. Um, and, and everything is about him. And he's, he's jealous and angry all the time. And that's, that's what he is. And, and, and that kind of person, that extreme kind, the extreme kind of narcissist, is unfit for any public position because at the end of the day, when you serve in public office and particularly in the presidency, you have to put the nation's interests first. Mm -hmm. And he's not capable of doing that. He's never been capable of doing that. He never will be capable of doing that. And there's no question he's an art. I mean, if you go through the, um, the DSM, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of, of, of Mental Disorders, you will see, I mean, he just he checks all nine boxes and there are only you only have to meet six or seven of them in order to you know to diagnose someone as a narcissist and it's not it doesn't require a lot of detailed knowledge these are simple simple characteristics and we see more of Donald Trump than most psychiatrists or psychologists see of their patients in a lifetime and he's also a sociopath and so a sociopath is someone basically who has without conscience has no morals does not believe in right and wrong, um, continually lies, a, a pathological liar, which Donald Trump is, and, and um, does not care about the rights of others and, and is prone, some, prone to committing violations of norms and laws. And that's also Donald Trump. I mean, you know, he's, a, he's, a, he's an adjudicated rapist. He is, he is someone who, is to, who told, according to the Washington Post, like 30,000 plus lies in office. Only rarely does he tell the truth, and, and often it's only when he's at his most malevolent. I mean, this is a man who lies literally about everything, from the trivial to the significant. He lied about the documents that he stole. He tried to move the documents. He, he lies about the stolen election, most significant. He's in the courthouse this week, lying about the temperature in the courtroom. People have thermometers in there, it's 74, 75 degrees, and he's saying, it's freezing, I'm being subjected to freezing cold here. And he says that the, there's an encampment around the, around the courthouse that kept, keeps, keeps all of his supporters from going down there. Like, no, there isn't. No, anybody can go down there. You know, he's a narcissistic sociopath. And, and that is someone who is unfit for office because historically, yeah. those are the authoritarian leaders that we see who do a great deal of harm, the Putins, the Hitlers. Uh, uh, the, the Ber Berlusconis, to, to a lesser extent, all the basically the bad, dangerous people who are a threat to democracy are malignant narcissists who rise to a position of power.